This story was sent to me by Caressa McKnight, and we have another copycat or a wannabe copycat on our hands. So we know what happened in El Paso, Texas at that Walmart down there. Now you have these palm-colored individuals that are popping up all over the damn place trying to do the same exact thing, but at different places, but at the same store. So this individual's name is uh dimitri andre andre chenko that name sounds russian it sounds russian to me the first and the last name it says a rifle carrying man faces terrorism charge after causing panic at a walmart in missouri now that's interesting it says that he's facing a terrorism charge Rarely do you ever see that in the title of a headline when it comes to stories such as these involving people that look like him. I, like, makes you wonder what's come over the, the establishment now that they want to label these individuals terrorists. Yet they want to rank B.I.E., quote unquote, at the top of the pyramid above Al Qaeda and white supremacists. Prosecutor Phil Missouri have filed former charges of making a terrorist threat in the second degree against a 20 year old man arrested for wearing body armor and carrying a loaded rifle and more than 100 ammunition at a Walmart store Thursday. Officers have rushed to the Walmart neighborhood market responding to calls of a potential shooter at the store where they encountered Dmitry Andrychenko. Days, I'm sorry, afterwards, Police said they believe he didn't want to kill anyone. Instead, he wanted to cause chaos. So because you wanted to cause chaos and be a copycat, you just basically implemented getting terrorism charges thrown upon you because you wanted to cause chaos. I swear people like this are bored out of their minds. They just can't help themselves. Like you went up in there with a loaded rifle just to scare people. Uh, It says, Andrew Chanko had a slightly different story. I wanted to know if that Walmart honored the Second Amendment. He is quoted as saying in a police statement. He also said he did not expect people in Missouri to react the way that they did. Excuse me? So you mean to tell me that you walked into a Walmart with that gun and didn't expect people to react a certain way, especially with all that's been going on? No matter if it's an open carry state or not, people are now on edge because of that. And you walked inside of a Walmart. I bet people nowadays are are walking around in a Walmart just looking to see at the door to see if anyone comes in with a strap in the front. And a heavy artillery weapon in the back. He says, I understand if we were somewhere else like New York or California, people would freak out. His intent was not to cause peace or comfort to anybody that was in the business. In fact, he's lucky he's still alive, to be honest. If convicted, Andrew Chenko faces four years in prison and or a fine of $10,000. Notice it said, and or. That means. If you focus on the or, he could possibly not go to jail and only have to pay a $10,000 fine. This was a reckless act designed to scare people, disrupt our business, and it put our associates and customers at risk. We applaud the quick actions of our associates to evacuate customers from our store, and we're thankful no one was injured. This person is no longer welcome in our stores. Andre Chenko seems to have been making a video of himself as he walked around the store. According to local TV station KY3, witnesses say he grabbed the cart and began pushing it around the store. Police say the man was recording himself walking through the store via a cell phone. Less than a week after a gunman launched a deadly assault on a crowd at Walmart in El Paso, Texas, the sudden appearance of a man wearing military-style clothing and carrying a tactical rifle set off a panic at a Walmart store in Springfield. And he thought by him doing that, that that would have scared no one. He was that confident. 
that that will be the case. He made it seem like as if he's walked into this particular Walmart and wore that stuff before, which I doubt. Store employees pulled the fire alarm and shouted for people to flee as they did. Andre Chenko followed them outside in the parking lot. Andre Chenko was detained at the scene by an off duty firefighter who was armed and held the man at gunpoint until police arrived. He was arrested without incident and no injuries have been reported. His arrest was captured on video. Witness Julie Ballou filmed him outside, filmed him from inside her car. The footage shows the young man walking down a grassy embankment, his hands over his head. Off camera, the firefighter can be heard reporting the incident to emergency dispatchers. Don't touch that rifle, a man commands Andre Chenko as he heads down the hill. He then obeys instructions, up instructions to kneel and turn around, apparently revealing that he had a handgun in his waistband. Police arrive within minutes to take him into custody. Missouri is an open carry state, but its laws do prohibit gun owners from displaying their weapons in a threatening way, which is what he did. For instance, even someone who holds a valid concealed carry endorsement is openly carrying a gun can run afoul of the law if the firearm is intentionally displayed in an angry or threatening manner, not in necessary self-defense. Missouri protects the right of people to open carry a firearm, but that does not allow an individual to act in a reckless and criminal manner, endangering other citizens. And see, that's the part right there where a lot of people who are gun owners try to overlook, especially like in a small print, that part right there. That doesn't mean you can just walk up in the store with your gun on your back and think that that's okay. Now, had that been a black person, they probably wouldn't have to be made it to the store. They probably would have apprehended them in the parking lot. As Justice Oliver Wendell Holmes famously explained, the most stringent protection of free speech would not protect a man in a falsely shouting fire in a theater causing a panic. Andre Chang was being held at the Green County Jail. And that's where his crazy ass needs to stay at. Like I said, if they would keep them locked up for actual crimes and not be so quick to let them out into society, then it's a possibility that they won't harm others. I've done plenty of stories where they have let people out because one was too old to be in jail according to them and the other one, he uh, pleaded insanity after killing someone in front of a Wawa and so on and so forth. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. I will talk to you in the next one.